you clicked on this video, you know what we're about to do. Let's go ahead and rank every single optometry school in the United States. What's up YouTube, it's Josh Reese, and today we're ranking optometry schools with objective data only. A while ago I made this video doing a lot of personal thoughts, whether or not I felt like I could live at that school, and just gave my rankings on how I felt about each school. Now that did cause a lot of heads to turn because some of the data wasn't 100% correct because I was just kind of throwing some numbers together with my personal opinions and saying if I were to look back, which one would I go to now? But this video is going to be so much more. I took all the data I could find from cost, average OAT and GPA, the competitiveness, the class size, and board rates. Now for board rates, all of them are going to be the ones that the university had advertised for either 2019, 2020, or 2021. Whether that's ultimate pass rate or first time pass rate, whichever one the university thought looked best is whichever one I found on the website that's down in the description, which is the one I'm presenting. And varying from year to year, not every school changes that much. It's within just a few percentage points. So when saying the numbers for board pass rates, it's not going to matter too much, but when ranking them, the rankings might be a little different depending on which year is used. And as for cost, this is tuition only, not including any scholarships, in-state tuition, regional scholarships like Wichi. It's just if you didn't have any special scholarships based on where you lived and you went there. So depending on which state you live in, you might need to do some extra research to see if that school could be cheaper for you. This also doesn't take into account cost of living or any other expenses that the school has, such as school-sponsored insurance, or equipment fees or other things like that, which vary year to year and on where you choose to live on campus, off campus, things like that. And all tuition is going to be broken down by year. As far as academics go, I combined the OAT and the GPA and stuck them together. So I took out the decimal of the GPA and, and treated it as if it were a three digit number, added it to the OAT score, and I'm looking at the GPA and OAT combined. Just to kind of get a sense of how academically competitive it is to be a student applying to that school, if that makes sense. There will be links down below to skip to your favorite schools that you want to look at, but let's go ahead and get into it all. So UAB is the first school. I'll go ahead and pop up here the tuition, about 55,000. The GPA OAT is 687. The class size is 45. The competitive ratio, so applied versus accepted, is 7.87. And the Nebo pass rate is about 91%. All right, as copped. So tuition is about $48,000. GPA OAT is 660. Class size is about 57. Competitive score is 9.79. And pass rate's about 98%. All right, Southern California College of Optometry. We got about $47,000 a year, 666 as the combined GPA and OAT. Class size is 104, the competitive score is 6.46, and the pass rate is about 95%. All right, so UC Berkeley is going to be about 50,000. The combined OAT and GPA is 697. Their class size is 68, competitive score of 2.7, and pass rate of about 93.75. And Western U is going to be a tuition of about 40,800, GPA and OAT of about 617, class size of 69, nice, competitive score of six, and a board's pass rate of about 87.5%. Next is Nova, so tuition of about 39,500, a combined GPA and OAT of 666, class size of 94, competitive score of 9.47, and a Nebo pass rate of about 95.9%. All right, the Chicago College of Optometry, this is the only one that hasn't been accredited enough to have a board's pass rate for me yet, but we got the tuition of $48,000 a year, GPA OAT of 617, class size of 61, competitive score of 8.79, and no data for pass rates. The Illinois College of Optometry, we have tuition of 42,870, academic score of 668. We got class size of 124, 
competitive score of 7.54 and a 93.71% pass rate. The Indiana College of Optometry, we have tuition of 42,426. We got the GPA and OAT of 675. We got the class size of 85, a competitive score of 5.43 and 91.18% pass rate. All right, the University of Pikeville, the University of Pikeville over in Kansas. <coughs> Quiet, can we? All right, the University of Pikeville over in Kentucky. We got a tuition of about $42,000 a year. The GPA and OAT of 627. Class size of 62. Competitive score of 7.37. And an overall pass rate of 92.5. The Massachusetts College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences, we have tuition of about 43,950, GPA and OAT of 692, a class size of 59, competitive score of 9.62, and an overall pass rate of 75.41%. All right, we got NECO, the New England College of Optometry. We have a tuition of $42,592, GPA and OAT of $663, class size of about 138, competitive score of 5.91, and board's pass rate of 96.52%. All right, the Michigan College of Optometry, we have tuition of about $30,000, uh, GPA and OAT of a 714, a class size of 38, competitive score of 5.82, and a pass rate of about 88%. Okay, so the University of Missouri at St. Louis, we have $42,587, uh, GPA and OAT of $656, class size of about $46, a competitive score of 6.09, nice, and an overall pass rate of about 85%. Okay, and SUNY over in New York, we have a tuition of about $51,820, GPA and OAT of 705, class size of 98, competitive score of 4.34, and pass rate of about 88.6%. So going over to the Ohio State University, the tuition is about $48,856. The combined GPA and OAT is about 704, class size is about 68, competitive score of 7.39, and the pass rate of about 96.92. And we're going to Oklahoma at Northeastern State University. We have tuition of about $39,000 a year. GPA and OAT is about 698 or 689. Class size is smallest of 28 students. The competitive score of about 8.62 and a pass rate of 92%. All right, in Oregon, we have Pacific University. We have tuition of about $42,024. GPA and OAT of about 678. Class size of 94, competitive score of 5.53, and a pass rate of about 96.55%. All right, in Pennsylvania, we have Salus University, which is about 41,860. Combined GPA and OAT of about 641. Class size of 149, competitive score of 6.53, and a pass rate of about 90.2. Going over to the International American University in Puerto Rico, we have a tuition of about $28,768, and combined GPA and OAT of 588, class size of 54, competitive score of 3.22, and an overall pass rate of about 78.5%. Okay, so we have the Southern College of Optometry in Memphis, Tennessee. Tuition is about $38,697. GPA and OAT combined is 697. The class size is 135. The competitive score is 5.64. And the overall pass rate is about 96.99%. The University of Houston is going to be about $44,982. The combined GPA and OAT is $699. The class size is 103. The competitive score is 5.51 and the overall pass rate is about 93.14%. And last but not least, we have the University of the Incarnate Word over in San Antonio. Tuition is about $41,235. We have a combined GPA and OAT of 642. Class size is 69. 
Competitive score of 6.67, an overall pass rate of about 89.06%. Now that we know the numbers that we're working with, let me just go ahead and give the rankings to you straight. So I'll go ahead and say number one, number two, and number three of each category, but go ahead and put the full rankings here and leave a link in the description to a document with all the rankings on it. So the number one cheapest school, not including scholarships, in-state, uh, tuition changes between semesters, this is just overall, if you're paying upfront all the money, number one is going to be the Inter-American University at Puerto Rico. Number two is going to be Ferris State University in Michigan. And number three is going to be Southern College of Optometry in Memphis, Tennessee. All right, when looking at pass rates or NEBO pass rates, so the number one college in pass rates is going to be the Arizona College of Optometry. Number two is going to be the Southern College of Optometry in Memphis. And number three is going to be The Ohio State University. As far as smart applicants with high GPAs in OAT, we're going to have Ferris State University in Michigan be number one. Number two is SUNY in New York. And number three is going to be The Ohio State University. All right, as far as class size is concerned, for me, better is smaller class size. So the smallest class size is going to be Northeastern State University in Oklahoma. The next one is going to be Ferris State University in Michigan, and the next one is going to be UAB in Alabama. All right, as far as this competitiveness is concerned, remember this is just number of applied versus class size. So this doesn't account whether or not they are rolling admissions or not, which will change some numbers with late applicants, whether they applied, were accepted, and went to a different school. This just is amount applied versus amount accepted. So the number one competitive school is ASCOPT at Midwestern University in Glendale, Arizona. The second most competitive one is the Massachusetts College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences over in Massachusetts. And number three is NOVA down in Florida. All right, drum roll please. So when putting it all together, I decided to rank the number one school to go to if, keep in mind, don't have any other opinion factors, it's, you're just looking at the numbers. So you don't care where you live, you don't care what it's like to live there, if you have family nearby, any scholarships, any financial opportunities for you, scholarships, anything like that. This is just looking at the numbers, which one is cheapest with the highest board scores. In other words, which one will give you the most confidence that you'll become an optometrist with the lowest cost to do so. And this is taking in rankings. So for example, maybe one, two, and three are all very close together, but it's just which ones ranked the highest and only the categories of cost and pass rates. So the number one college that you should go to if you want to be an optometrist and save money is the Southern College of Optometry in Memphis. Number two is Nova down in Florida. And number three is Pacific University over in Oregon. So besides the ones I've flashed up here, you can go ahead and look at all of them down below in the description. I'll leave a link to all my data and where I got them and I'll leave timestamps down in the description so you can kind of work your way through each school and look at the data one more time. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram, subscribe to me on YouTube, all my social media is down in the description. Thank you for watching to the end of this video and smash the like button and subscribe if you want this video to reach more people just like you and help all of you decide which optometry school is the best out there. See ya.